G'day friends, welcome to today's video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we're gonna to do another page in 10. I have a hashtag for this series. It's called hashtag a page in 10. <laughs> I'll put that on the screen so you can see it. Um, please, if you follow along, use that hashtag on social media so other people can see what you came up with in the 10 minutes we're about to spend together just completing a journal spread. Uh, well, a page, I should say a page, because it's only one page, but sometimes I get carried away and I go over both pages. <laughs> Today I have this one here. I went and saw Cruella last night with Steve and I absolutely loved it. And so I want to do a bit of a, uh, a bit of a spread devoted to Cruella de Vil. There's probably a billion different things I could do, but I'm gonna opt for something with a bit of a higher skill level, nothing too crazy, uh, but we're gonna do a few little illustration things. My uh, piece of advice for you before we start is if you're not super comfortable illustrating, just forget all the rules and have fun. It's just a way, this series is literally just a way for us to get into our journals and get our hands moving. You do not have to create a masterpiece. I certainly won't in the 10 minutes that we have together, but it'll be a nice way to be able to commemorate something I did in my real life in a creative way in my journal or my planner. Uh, this is my A6 Hobonichi um, and uh, and yeah we'll just have fun time together for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer now. Set timer for 10 minutes. I don't know why I speak into my phone like so seriously. Oh we've started. <laughs> okay so I did have a little thought for this. I wanted to do a Polaroid. Uh, I was actually gonna print out a photo but I thought that's probably not fair to people that don't have home printer setups. So I thought, you know what, let's just draw it. I'm using a pencil and I'm gonna draw a big square in my page. I'm gonna draw a smaller rectangle inside the square so it leaves some space open at the bottom. This is just for me to draw a picture inside of um, and this is kind of my focal point so it's right in the middle of my page. But I wanna put a bunch of stuff in front and behind that kind of relates to the experience. So. I actually find it easier to start with pencil. I'm going to draw a big popcorn bucket in front. I'm just going to draw this kind of square shape and then just do like a cloud of scribbles on top for my popcorn. And then any part of the Polaroid that's, you know, that is uh, running through that illustration, I'm going to erase. So that bottom right hand corner of the square, I'm just going to erase that. This still doesn't have to be neat. I'm going to use a pen to actually outline everything scribbly afterwards. But I just see how this looks like the Polaroid's disappeared behind it now. That's how we get some nice layering going on. I'm going to do another kind of, oh, just sorry about that, uh, kind of tapered rectangle. Almost like a triangle, but you can't see the point at the bottom. And then an oval at the top on its side. Again, I'm going to erase anything that is that Polaroid. I'll do another little line underneath that oval. Same curve as the oval. And then a big rectangle off to the side for a straw. That's gonna be my drink. I can fill the rest in with spots because it's uh, it, it keeps with the theme of Corella, and it's actually gonna be a really good way to fill all the spaces. So I'll probably get my dot marker for that at the end. Um, to put things at the back, maybe I'll just put a little rectangle. I'm still gonna go over the top of this, but because I want these things at the top to be behind the Polaroid, instead of erasing the Polaroid stuff, I'm actually gonna erase the line that I just drew. I just find it easier to draw the whole rectangle than to try and draw what is just disappearing behind there. So I'm just going to write milk duds. I love milk duds. They remind me of fantails. And then I'll erase whatever is uh, crossing that Polaroid frame. So I had some milk duds. I might just do an extra little rectangle just to make it pretend 3D. <laughs> and then uh, what else did I have? Oh, I had a hot dog. I'm going to draw a rectangle up here with rounded edges and then a big cylinder in the middle and some scribbles for tomato sauce or ketchup as they say in the states which is where I am so I should probably start saying it. I've been so defiant for years in not picking up the local lingo. <laughs> All right let's get to drawing. Oh no I was gonna draw Steve and myself in the theater watching. I'm actually gonna draw two rectangles. This can be the back of the seats that way I only have to draw the hair. Oh, I have a bun now, that's so weird. I draw myself in self-portraits before I had long hair, so it's still kind of confusing to me to draw what my hair actually looks like. And Steve's got a fashion mullet, so I don't even know how to put that in there. And then I'm gonna put a rectangle up here, that's gonna be the screen. And I'll just draw a little Cruella. Bit of a square face, kind of one half the hair black, one half the hair white bit of a stern look. I'm just gonna put a random little face on there and I will probably just keep that really simple. That's great. 
So there's my Polaroid. I'm gonna go over everything really quickly with this Pilot Carbon Ink Fountain Pen. Only the lines that are left and see how I'm scribbling over it really quick. I don't want anything to, to be too particular or neat. I'm not even gonna erase those, um, I'm not even gonna erase those pencil lines. They're just gonna stay in there. So remember, we've only got 10 minutes, so we don't wanna be too precious about how we ink everything in. The reason we did it in pencil first was just so we could get a feeling for the composition where everything's supposed to be. Because if I tried to draw all of this in pen from the jump, I would probably get really confused about what was going behind what. And I still wanna have time to put some color onto this. So I'm gonna get my water pen. What water pen? Aquash. Aquash brush pen. I'm also gonna get my dot marker as well. How much time do we have left? Oh, we're still halfway through, that's great. Uh, the reason I've got my water brush is that it's a little easier for me to pick up the paint quicker than to use it like regularly. And I'm just gonna go into this gouache. This is uh, dry gouache. Oh, I'm expelling a little too much water for my liking. <laughs> Put my little rag here. I can mop it up with some of this if I need to. There we go. Get some yellow. I have all these colors, kind of a rainbow selection in here, and I don't clean my brush off too well in between. Oh, this black is not dry, so I'm actually gonna have to try and paint around the black. That's probably one thing doesn't bode well for these time challenges. I shouldn't say challenge, but these really quick attempts at finishing a journal spread. It's a little harder to um, let things dry. That's why I like the Aquash brush, because it's, it's kind of quick and convenient. Oh, this is just gonna have a bit of a great tint to it, I think, unfortunately. I'm just adding random colors at this point. I actually don't think it matters too much. Just in an effort to avoid any of the black lines that haven't dried yet. I've just refilled the cartridge of that platinum ink carbon fountain pen. I think it's called a desk pen. Um, I refilled the ink cartridge so it's really juicy, which is fantastic, but obviously not for this purpose. <laughs> okay, there's that. Put a bit of orange in that hot dog bun. It wasn't orange. It looks like Doritos now. Um, maybe a bit of pink for the actual hot dog. I might mix some yellow with that. Try and make it a bit more brown. Mm, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put the slightest bit of uh, blue. Actually, maybe even purple. Just the slightest bit of light purple into my Polaroid just so it doesn't look completely stark white. And then everything inside my Polaroid, I want it to be quite dark. So I'm gonna use this black, just so it stands out. Use this black, use this dark purple. Use this lighter purple, I guess. some more of the black. Just leave our hair as scribbles. There we go. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put a bit of a shadow around everything now. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna grab a color actually. I might grab this deep purple color. And anything that's kind of like on the top right hand edge and then on the right edge, I'm just gonna add a line that follows that illustration. So the top right hand edge, just a little bit in, and then all the way down the right hand side of whatever illustration I've got. This just separates everything a little nicer. Gives it a shadow. Not a super realistic one, but can you see how it pops a lot more that way? And because this is a Tombow, I can actually reactivate that with water and blur some of that into the background. Obviously, if you didn't see Corella, I should mention this, but <laughs> If you didn't see Corella last night and this is not what you're journaling, you can use the same principle of the layering 
and uh, and the kind of thumbnailing with your pencil and then quick ink sketch to depict whatever you've done. And you can still do the Polaroid. I mean, you can put whatever a photo of whatever you did today inside your Polaroid and then just decorate the edges. Two things in front, two things behind, uh, just little motifs of something you did today or had today. I'm gonna use maybe actually a black Sharpie for the spots, some of the bigger spots. And I'm just putting them all in the background. And then the th part of the um, production design in this movie was like lots of graffiti everywhere that said Cruella. So I'm just gonna put graffiti looking text everywhere. Like scribbles, especially just all the negative space. Anywhere there's a bit of negative space, I'm gonna put some scribbles to kind of match the production design of the film. It looked quite hectic, very 70s, 60s, 70s beatnik, punk, Vivian Westwood. I really enjoyed it. I'm just gonna outline this. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> there we go. Stop. I hate that sound. Well, 10 minutes. We managed to get it done. <laughs> Very ambitious for 10 minutes, although um, it depends on what you were drawing, I guess. But I hope this kind of helped at least set up a composition for you today, give you a bit of uh, a few tips on how to uh, fill the page, uh, especially with the focal point being in the middle, but also having the edges of your page kind of reflect this layering style with a very loose, uh, very quick sketch kind of feel and vibe, which is actually kind of suitable for what I feel about the movie when I saw it. It just had that very like raw, edgy kind of a look. Um, this is 10 minutes worth, but that's not to say you have to spend 10 minutes on it. You can spend a bit longer on it if you wish to add some extra details. I would probably bring a white pen in here and add some extra details as well. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it, have this be my representation of seeing the movie last night, and call that done for a page in 10. Don't forget to hashtag a page in 10 if you wanna share your work with us and we can all enjoy what you've been getting up to. I will see you again for another installment of this series soon. Until then, bye. Just where it was near